Okay. Uh, this is a Fisher SD Minute Mount Plow. I can't remember the year I bought it. Not that long ago. Maybe f it might be four years old. On a 2008 Toyota Sequoia. It bolted up and the truck side wiring was exactly the same as a 2008 Tundra. This is uh, the truck I've had basically for, well, I bought it new, so 15, 14 years. I ran this, it was great. It's been great, it's still great. But the cab is too small for me. We have kids now, so the back is full of car seats. And then we have a dog, so when we wanna go camping or go do stuff, there's no room in it. There is room in this, sorta. We'll have, I'll be stuck running like utility trailers and stuff like that, but I never had an SUV, I wanted to try it. I think people are having good luck with these. Sequoias, obviously, the Tundra is great. And I know how they, most parts are the same for the drivetrain and stuff. Like I'm familiar with the engine and doing all changes and all that brakes and that type of stuff. So I have a toy tech, whatever the specs are, I can't remember. It's a two and a half inch lift or something. Um, they're heavier spring setup, which I'll show you in a second. When you lift up this Fisher SD blade, um, it barely, it like drops a quarter of an inch, half an inch, not even. So on the Platinum, I did have to do the, the airbag thing where you rip the airbags out and you put in the coils. You gotta buy lower control arms, but you get the coil. And uh, I put in those airlift bags just because I thought I needed them. Probably, I didn't really need them. Because uh, I, I hooked onto a, a camper, a 26 foot camper, and it didn't even budge. Like it didn't drop at all. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Good. Drops very little. Uh, this thing was actually, I'm not a big plow guy. My uses are like myself and my neighbors and all that stuff. Don't mind the rims. I took the rims off this Goya and put them on this because this is probably, it has to be sold just to free up some money. But this truck has been outstanding. Really good. No issues whatsoever. Just a regular little shit. But nothing crazy like it's done we did really good i just don't have the room so that's where this thing comes in lots of room seven passenger you can take six buddies with you and go plowing you have a hell of a time and then you knock the plow off and you whatever put a camper on it and i like being able to carry people as well as fold all the seats down and then do your thing like that. That's what a lot of the overlaying guys are doing, getting into that stuff. There is room in these once you flatten the, the chairs and uh, tons of room for reproducing. Yeah, anyway, so. That's it. All the truck side wiring matches up. I literally unbolted the mounts off the bottom of the tow hooks on the truck, drilled a couple holes on each side with a little shit Ryobi drill. Um, took off the wiring off that, 
truck and unplug the headlights in this you get to knock a couple or you know you get to put a, a wire through the firewall for your controller and uh solder a couple connections in and you're away you're gone you're golden so toyota tundra plow with you gotta use the same plow head like the same tundra headlights as the sequoia like these are the h11 bulbs for low beam high beam i got a little fuck up going on there i gotta i think i might have plugged into the or soldered into the wrong wire because it says those auto headlights and my truck didn't have auto so i gotta figure that out but other than that all the plugins are the exact same i just gotta find that low beam power that was the only thing that was not exactly the same and that might be to do to do with something uh else with having auto headlights versus not auto headlights in the tundra anyway that's what we got so it works this one's got the poly blade on it uh what guys i guess do if they're not doing a lot of asphalt asphalt and people's driveways for them it's supposed to be quieter you're ripping in there at 5 a.m and plowing yards i guess so that's where the poly comes in it's probably some sort of a trick for weight too so that they can rate the plows differently for different vehicles half tons three quarter tons i don't know but when this one is done like scraped all the way or big gouges out of it and then i'll probably it'll be a tough call for me i might go back to poly it's expensive but they're quiet and it's been doing what i want it to do or i might go to steel so i can get down a little bit heavier and chop away at the ice or whatever heavier plows do anyway so as far as a home setup for me doing the odd neighbors houses mother-in-laws that type stuff it's going to be I, I think it's going to be just as good as a truck if not better so anyway just tell letting people know that it can be done because i didn't find any information on this online it was pissed me off because i couldn't tell if it was going to work or not anyway took the gamble bought this thing it hooks up exactly so there you go